and welcome back to part 4 of the cell interior creation video for the Skyrim Creation Kit Bootcamp tutorial series. This section covers the interior data tab. The interior data tab allows you to name the cell. This name is visible to the player so it should have proper spelling and punctuation. It can also be left blank and it does not need to be unique. The encounter zone controls how leveled lists are generated. For most safe interiors you can leave it set to none. If it's a hostile interior you should create your own encounter zone. You can borrow another encounter zone if you think it's similar to what you've created. The water environment map sets a DDS file for the area. Usually this is left blank. The owner NPC sets one specific NPC who owns the cell. This sets players as trespassers if this specific NPC hasn't unlocked the doors or if the cell isn't marked as public. If this NPC is set, you cannot set the owner faction. The lock list allows actors to lock and unlock their own doors. When an actor is selected, the actor can lock and unlock the doors and shoo the player out of the cell. Owner faction works the same way as owner PC, though it goes off of an entire faction. If you are a member of that faction, you are not trespassing if you are in the cell. You can also set required rank. The lock list also applies to the owner faction. Checking public area means that no one will ever be considered trespassing in this cell, but the objects in the cell may still be owned. If you uncheck Public Area, Off Limits is now available. If you check Off Limits, that means that the player will always be considered trespassing and will not be warned before being charged with a crime. Can't Wait means that waiting is disabled for the entire cell. Thank you for watching this four-part series on cell creation for the Skyrim Creation Kit Bootcamp tutorial series.